Hello, hello. Bonjour, bonjour, un nouveau semaine. Uh, oh. I guess I could keep that going. I don't know why I'm always like, I gotta turn it off immediately. Welcome, welcome, welcome to D20 Dames. My name is Jen Vaughn. My pronouns are she, they. And this is a little bit of our downtime with the dames where we uh, are doing uh, like streaming, uh, some video games, some solo RPGs, some crafting uh, in between our seasons. If this is your first time here, we are a femme presenting, a mostly women of color, uh, podcast where we present family-friendly stories. I, it's like I nev haven't said it a million times. Family-friendly stories. We're currently using D&D &D as the uh, mechanism for our storytelling, but we are in the middle of a little Brindlewood Bay campaign that we're doing for fun as well, where everyone plays grandmas. If you haven't heard our latest season of D20 Dames, Wanderleaf, it's uh, a short season and we all play tweens. And we might be coming back to that. We'll have more information on that soon. But hello, Andy, also. And hello, Robin. It's so good to see you both. Yes. So, uh, on Duo Language Gaming, uh, what I've uh, awkwardly named this, is uh, we... Uh, okay, cool. It just it goes off, basically. <laughs> uh, I am... I moved to Bordeaux, France. Uh, back in August of last year, and I don't speak French, so whose problem was that? It's mine. Uh, so I am trying to learn, uh, or I am learning, but I'm using video games as well because they're a great tool for learning languages, for reading. Obviously, a lot of us learned how to read with video games. So uh, we just finished up Pierre's uh, Adventures in French, L'Aventure de Pierre en Français. Uh, and I missed one little achievement, so if this Carmen San Diego game ends early or fast, we're going to do that speed run. <laughs> but at the beginning of each of these shows, I also like to show off uh, L'Aventure des Jeunes en Français, uh, so Jen's Adventures in French. Hello, Socialist Pie! Hello, Lucha and Latte! So good to see you here! Thank you so much. I know you are a big uh, Fiasco First Friday uh, watcher as well. So, um... Again, as part of the Jen's Adventures, I wanted to show you a little bit of what uh, I've been doing or I've been visiting. Um, and also, you can, uh, let's see, here we go. I'll put this link in chat, so you can also visit it on Google Maps yourself if you would like, and you can sort of tour it with me. Um, so this past week, uh, oh yeah, on last Wednesday, it was the Fête de la Musique, and I was so excited because... Also, let me know if my sound is too low. I feel like I'm a criminal uh, soft founder. Um, it was Fête de la Musique here, and everyone was preparing me. They're like, Jen, there's going to be there's gonna be a, like music everywhere. Everyone plays it. There's musicians. I walk out of my house Wednesday morning, like, expecting a bard to attack me. You know, like, I've been playing RPGs for, like, five, se uh, eight years, so, like, I'm, like, ready to go. And nothing. And they're like, oh, Jen, no, don't worry. It's this afternoon slash evening. I go out at lunch. I go out for a coffee break. Nothing. Uh, it ends up raining really hard, so they don't play near my home. They end up, they were playing downtown, and I saw the crowd, and it looked redonkulous. But I was like, I thought it was just like anybody was, like, had their instrument out. So I was a little disappointed, but that, don't worry. Like, it's okay. There's other stuff. I've uh, been protesting a lot of things here. Uh, uh, the, um you know, uh, racism and discrimination, um, the unfortunate uh, police brutality, um, as well as like wage discrimination. So France is very big on striking and uh, making, it, uh, using your voice um, for social change. So there was some of that. Um, but this weekend, uh, <laughs> yeah, Andy, I was honestly worried, or not worried, I was just expecting more, especially because someone at our office like brought their guitar in one day and wanted to bring it to the restaurant we were going to, like outdoors. And I was like, can you just, because there's music, there w they usually have uh, uh, like music playing or people playing music. And I was like, are you allowed to just jam with a band at a restaurant where someone's like been paid? I feel like there's like a, it's like the WGA or like it's like a SAG, non-SAG thing. So I'm like, uh, I mean, th they didn't end up we didn't have live music anyway but it was just uh, yeah again i thought there'd be live music everywhere but maybe next year i'll go to like a small town so i am in bordeaux um this is the jaron river aka whoops the port de la lune uh the port of the moon which is gorgeous and i spent the weekend with my friend 
uh, Yoko out in Arkashan, which is like our cool, our cool beach town. And like the Dune de Pila is the largest sand dune in Europe, which is like, <laughs> everyone loves it though. I actually didn't go to it yet, but uh, it's one of the big things people go to. There's also a lot of surfing. So I'm going to practice surfing soon. Um, yeah, I was out over here because we could see uh, Cape Ferre. And then we also were out over here and it was great. It was like less than an hour on the train and it was super cool. Um, let's see what I've got. Uh, yeah, like they have a lot of the gorgeous, it's a tourist town slash a little retirement town. So there's a lot of like surfing stuff and then just like a lot of gorgeous uh, restaurants with like these sort of, I think they were fake flowers. Um, they also have like some of the most world famous chocolate there and like, uh, the best Indian food I've had since I've moved here, so that was very nice. Um, this is me and Yoko out on the beach. See, a vampire on the beach. Me, it happens. I had like SPF 99 on, so it was nice. Um, got to run around. Uh, and um, there was a lot of, there were a lot of cute shops there, and so uh, while I was there, I grabbed some stuff for my mom. I'm only showing you one thing in case she's watching, but this, they had like these beautiful sardine cans. So I was like, okay, well I have to get her one of these. Um, <laughs> oh, there's, there she is. <laughs> um, and then uh, something that I had seen before, uh, thanks to Yoko, was that uh, uh, she, um, at her place, uh, would use like oyster shells to like hold soap. Like, it was, like, very cute, and I, maybe that's a beach town thing, and as someone that doesn't, yeah, art on sand, sardine cans, uh, sart, art, nope, can't say it. Um, again, as a non-beach town person, or, like, a non-coast person, or a person who does not have a lot of good, uh, what's the word? I'm not good at making my fa place feel cozy. It's, like, an art workshop at my home, so, but I just love that, and I was out on the, uh, on one of the beaches at Arkashan. I'm sorry, I don't have, I just got my phone, so I didn't get a lot of pictures there. Um, the tide was out, so I went walking very far, and I collected a lot of, some shells, and then, of course, this, and I brought it home and washed it, so this is, like, let me get some new soap and put it in there, and it's gonna feel like, when people come, they're gonna be like, oh, Jen, I'll be like, I know, I'll, like, do some paintings of mermaids or something in the bathroom, so it'll work out, but this part is gonna be your favorite part. Oops. Uh, and I know, and uh, I was trying not to put it online, but you know, you know that there are, like, we have cupcake machines in the U.S., we have cigarette machines. <laughs> of course, France has a baguette machine. What? What? It was right next to a uh, bakery that placed right behind it with the orange awning. So I'm assuming they put the baguettes in there every day that don't fell. It's not just like some, like, flash frying flash baking stuff uh yeah of course i didn't have any cash and like i was in a hurry so uh i it's not the only one in, apparently either but uh, it's the first one i've seen so i'm definitely gonna go back because i'm gonna go to the beach and do like you know full-on swimming and some surfing so or trying to surf um so i'm definitely gonna go <laughs> get some baguette and i'll take some video don't worry for that so yeah super excited about that oh and as always i have a little snack a french snack uh, this is, see if I can make it squish a little bit. Yeah, this is a canelle, or cannelle. Um, they're very popular here. It's a cake that's uh, like cooked at a very high temperature, so it caramelizes really fast, and it's kind of gummy. I, I like the dark ones because I like the carbon, um, but then the uh, they're gummier, though, and then the uh, there's like lighter. It's, <laughs> it's like the different colors of honey. And uh, so, and those are a little bit more cakey, but uh, someone brought these in today, so I was like, perfect. <laughs> That's my little <laughs> French snack to show off. But yeah, so Arcachon was beautiful. Fête de la musique, slightly disappointing, but that's okay. It's all right. It's like, <laughs> it's like how disappointing the, <laughs> the end of, no, that's, no, I can't compare it because Pierre was amazing. So, well, anyway, so here we are. We're on to a new game. Uh, you all did vote, I will say, for Club de Trouveto. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, whoops, there you are. Um, but uh, I have not received it in the mail yet, so because I had to order the CD-ROM and <laughs> the CD-ROM player, so I'm still waiting on it. So I thought we'd play uh, Me Usted Caché Carmen San Diego. But where is Carmen San Diego? Uh, and I had to figure out. <laughs> it took me a while to find a version that would play on my computer at home. <laughs> uh, and then uh, 
so I got one here. I was hoping for the 1992, but I think we ended up with the 18, 1985, so not sure if there's going to be sound, so we will see. I definitely, I mean, I ran it a little bit, so yeah, and I'm definitely, and I, uh, <laughs> CD -ROM. I know Andy, uh, I'm going to be, but now that I'm going to have a, you know, 20 euro CD-ROM player, I'm going to be playing some CD-ROM games too, because why not? Uh, par this group is also called the Clue Finders, um, and they have it in English too, but I think I was just not, I might have been a little too old for it, or I was just playing Carmen San Diego honestly over and over, um, and watching Gargoyles because looking at the year. Um, oop, that's me. <laughs> my dork. Uh, okay. And also, in case you're wondering, my background, that is, oh, you can't see all of it. Well, it's a horse with a skeleton, a skeleton horse head and a set of human arms, and it's called the Morioche. And it is my favorite new, obviously, French cryptid that I found, and it's from the Bretagne region, which, did I already, uh, if I'm to show you, that area is up here. So sort of the northern peninsula area. And it's where like crepes come from uh, and cider or cidre that they drink a lot of, um, often from bowls. So, and that creature is from here. So obviously I love it and I'm like, okay, I gotta get that tattoo. Um, now I'm like, can I <laughs> expand this? But no, this is set to the game. Okay, so without further ado, without any more ado, get your snacks, <sighs> get your puzzling pants. Oh no, I gotta make sure Deeple's open because I, I'm 10,000% sure that my French is not that good for this. Um, also, not having my phone for like three weeks meant I was not on Duolingo. But they preserved, if you reach out to them, they're super nice. They made sure to preserve my streak. So when I finally log back in today, it's happening. Also, if you'd like to be friends on Duolingo, uh, hit me up. And I will we'll share friend codes or whatnot because, yeah, let's learn some languages together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, crepes and skeleton horses. Like, I don't know what else you need in a region. Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe like cheese and um, duck mummies. I don't know what that would be. Okay. So, and this one's actually called, oh, okay, A la Pursuit de Carmen San Diego au Le Monde. But uh, I'm pretty much the same. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Definitely some sound. Ooh, yikes, we got sorry. Okay. <laughs> down on my head and hoping it doesn't oh okay all right 1990 oh okay oh it starts okay sorry sorry i did not <laughs> too busy like watching and reading it okay maybe i just sorry i guess there's a little bit of violence over here okay we are finding the bandit carmen uh, something, uh, even, like, hard to catch. Oh, man. No. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. So this is a problem <laughs> I encountered before. <laughs> it traps my mouse, so that must be a cool MDOS thing. Um... I wonder if I could, was it control F12 got me? Nope, okay. All right, so I'll just pull the deeple up over here. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, identify yourself. Uh, clavier a la police. Oh boy. This is <laughs> from Pierre to this, which is like, we understand that not everybody uh, is a, uh <laughs> let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, keep, <laughs> 
police on the keyboard. Identify yourself. Okay. Again. This looks like a fax machine. You are identified, Jen. Uh, your gra your actual grade, enquête, like inquisitor. I do know that in the English version that this it says gumshoe because that's the cool way. So enquête. All right. Flash. Nothing. National treasure stolen from Baghdad. Uh, Trésor national volé à Baghdad. How do I know what volé is? Because my bike got stolen. Mon vélo a volé. My bike was stolen. Uh, le treasure a été identifié. Uh, the treasure was identified. Il s'agit. Mm, I'm going to look that up because I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that right. You usually don't say. So you don't say S, T's, or D's. Yes. Uh, at the end of a word if there's no E at the end. So but I'm, I'm just going to look what that is. And then. Sagi. Il s'agit d'une table babylone. Okay, so the treasure was identified. It was a Babylonian tablet. Which, yep, if we, uh, and so that probably means it was one of the first uh, tablets to ever been written on. So, cool, cool, cool. Oh, and also, this is, we are at, <laughs> we're in the general, we're in the general neighborhood, Quartier. Uh, 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 it's Monday at 9 a.m. Okay. You miss tearing off printer paper strips? Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh, remember how it used to be green? No, it was just all white. Green and white too. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, wonderful times. Okay. Um, okay, and this just says to touch if you want to continue. Uh, a feminine suspect has been aperçu. Translate. Uh, seen. At the at the place, uh, this is suspect place. Forfait. Uh oh, at the at the drop off spot. Okay. Your mission: pursue the thief in Baghdad until you catch and arrest them, or s catch and stop them. Votre mission. It's using vu. It's being polite, but I'm pretending it's all of us because it's the same tense we'd use. Poursuivre le voulet de Baghdad jusqu'à sa cachée et l'arrêter. We got this. Vous devez arrêter le volet avant dimanche. You must, oh we must, uh, stop uh, the thief by dimanche, Sunday at 5 p.m. <laughs> 1700. Uh, 17 heures. Uh, bonsoir, Finners! Okay, no, an actual French person has joined chat, so I'm very sorry. Um, you are welcome to correct me at any time. Also, did you play this game, or a version of it? Alright, bon chance, enquêteur Jen. Uh, good luck, Inquisitor Jen. I still like gumshoe better, but that's fine. Actually, I'm just gonna look this up and make sure. I doubt it's... Oh, it says interviewer. Oh. Okay, ooh, Baghdad, you're gorgeous! Okay. The capital de, de l'Irak. Um, in French, uh, they don't like it when you have two vowels right next to one another. Like, so we have the D-E. Oh, this is cool. I have the mouse right there. And then the I for Iraq. So a lot of times they will add uh, an L in front of things. So this is an ancient... Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, a founding... An ancient founding city, a f ancient foundational city, where there for for eight uh, hundred years uh, for the Arabs, uh, the Arabic people. Uh, yep, uh, the Su the Sumerians lived there. Sumerians, yes, the first people to practice writing on clay tablets. Sorry, this is about to turn into a history lesson. They were also the first people to lose a lot of their language with this with a bunch of floods. Um, came and uh in their temples where they kept a lot of their clay tablets they got like their words literally got washed away and that's when they learned that they needed to bake they needed to fire their clay tablets to keep the clay uh like to keep the words permanent so that's where the written word comes from the sumerians okay all right and so we have at the bottom of the screen we have voir a uh, look so i think that's probably our map depart we don't hit that so we know where we're going Clue, maybe this helps us, and crime, so maybe that reminds us. <laughs> Epic 
give 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 wait wait uh cachet is hiding place thank you that makes sense find the hiding place okay okay i guess we gotta look <laughs> oh okay well we're not gonna leave okay so we have a museum musée bibliothèque library palace um it's quite possible the palace here means the police station um uh in most cities here it's called palace de justice uh, justice palace so um where let's go let's you know we gotta go to the library first this is d20 dames <laughs> she was searching for an opening in the marble industry uh was uh, uh nope. This is great because my iPad keeps. She was looking for work in the marble industry. Marble. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Elle ch chercha un ouvrage sur l'industrie du marbre. She was looking for a book. <laughs> oh, of course, because we're in the library. Un ouvrage. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little, what's it called? Autocorrect over here. Un ouvrage. Oh, a work. Okay. All right. All right. Makes sense. Okay. And that's all you're going to tell us. Okay, cool. That's right. Because we collect clues from the three places and then, and then we use those to figure out the city. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, I can't thank you. I can't say anything. That's fine. All right, you say. She was interested in a conversation of Etruscan, I believe that's what that is, painted murals. Etruscan. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay. The Guardian? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's like a, okay, sorry, I'm also thinking of like docent or like, but he looks definitely just like a police guard. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the palace. This game's gonna end in like 10 minutes. Okay. Whoa! Look at that chin strap on this guy! Um, she left in a vehicle, uh, with a flag. Oh, <laughs> here we go! Un drapeau vert, blanc et rouge. Green, white, and red. Okay, well, I guess if, <laughs> I mean, oh, we have, okay, well, no, not, so I think it's Rome, but where, what is the flag? Kathmandu. This is great. It's going to show off my ignorance about flags. <laughs> nope. Okay. The <laughs> Ball flag is red and white. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Okay. All right. We're going to Rome. We're going to Italy. Also the Etruscans. Marble. Well, it could have been Athens as well. But Greece is blue and white. So, okay. <laughs> See, here I can blame my American schooling. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So let's depart. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Learning. <laughs> All right. Rome. Oh, oh. It's now in the afternoon. Uh, lundi. Uh, sorry, evening. Uh, à 20 heures at 20 hours, a.k.a. 8 p.m. À l'OPEC. L'OPEC. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to... <laughs> It's a lot harder when no one's ever saying the words. So it's, uh, this is where I need Pierre in real life. Okay. Oh. Okay. Should delete everything when I, okay. Um, uh, the period, the Renaissance period, in the Renaissance period, à l'époque de la Renaissance, la see, there again, we have the L in front of Italy. Uh, Italy was, in the in many st 
states divided into many city states uh, where they were uh, the center of artistic and oh, where they were the um, center of the artistic and scientific world. <laughs> I mean, a lot of that was cognates, but still, okay, we're at the Colosseum. All right, where are we going? Nope, oops, oops. No, actually, let's look. Samarin, Port Moresby, Colombo, back to Baghdad. Okay, let's investigate Club Sportif. So, sports club, the port, and the Ambassad, the embassy. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, you learned your flags by playing this game? That's a great. Yeah. Again, here we are. <laughs> um. All right. Does anyone does anyone know where they want to go? You want to choose? I'm gonna let you all choose too. I feel like uh, there's not a lot for you to do <laughs> other than watch me embarrass myself. Club Sportif, the port. Port, excuse me. There's no e at the end, so we don't really say that t, except for when we do. And ambassad. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, it's it's sort of a silent game until. Uh, all right, no one say anything. All right, I'm gonna pick one. We're gonna go in the middle again. Love a pattern. Oh no! Oh oh. Uh. Oof. Oh no! It just went away. Okay. Um, a somebody, a thief of M A L. Okay. All right. All right. She uh, left on. Also, this Merlin is very good. The drawing in this is wild. Okay. She left on an hour bound outboard. Outboard. Outbound, buh, buh. A bohol. An outbound motor with a <laughs> motorboat with a flag that was red, yellow, and black. Rouge, jaune, and noir. Okay, so I guess if we're smart, which I'm not, we can look at these. Because I don't think it's Saint Millen, because I believe that's France. France. In fact, let's just look. Yep. Columbo. What is? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, everyone feel free to put their guesses in with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, ooh, that's actually got all of the colors. Sri Lanka flag. Let's see. Port Moresby is that. Bum, bum, bum. Is this cheating to look this up, by the way? Hey, everybody, am I cheating? Should I stop looking up these flag colors and just guess? I know I'm looking up the, um, uh, 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 excuse me, but I should be playing this like, I should be playing this like I don't have the internet, right? Like, um, we're back in the, that, <laughs> like, we're, we're eight again. <laughs> Andy, Andy is saying uh, that they would not be able to play very long without cheating. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I had like a dictionary when I was playing this. Um, okay, it was rouge. One. Okay, well, I know where it is now because I just looked it up. So, okay, so you still okay? You also you had an encyclopedia, or oh yeah. Okay, so we're essentially all cheaters. Okay, cool. It's called using the info we have. Okay. So we are going to Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, is what I'm saying. Sri Lanka has, and actually, no, it doesn't have, oh, the new flag doesn't have black in it. Okay, but it did have, one of the other flags did, so it was okay. Um, Sri Lanka uh, is also, um, Brittany of the podcast is also a Sri Lankan, so anyway. <laughs> me calling her up. Guess where I went? And she's like, did you go there? No. Okay. Port Moresby. That is a long flight. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's noon, so I'm not sure why we have this beautiful night scene. It's noon on Tuesday. Okay. Papua New Guinea um, became independent in 1975. 
They are their closest neighbors. C'est plus proche voisin. Their closest neighbors are Indonesia and Australia. Okay. Okay. That's not. <laughs> Let me be honest. That's not a lot about them. So. All right. We have a bank, bank, an airport, an airport, ambassa. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh, great idea. We went to the port last time because that's where stuff happens. So we should definitely be going to like maybe an airport. Well, we're already at an airport, aren't we? Airport or a bank? I feel like the embassy is not where she's ever going to be, right? She's going to, or there, all of Carmen San Diego and her gang are going to be like at the places where they do stuff. Or, you know. Yeah, we got another one! Oh my god, I'm not gonna. Oh, no, okay. Um, she took a, a plane. Mm, oh my gosh. Please stop autocorrecting me. In avion don't? I don't know what don't. Oh, who's? Uh, wing. Oh, whose wing was decorated with a drapeau rouge et blanc. Okay, <laughs> like really hitting this. The flag part is basically the fastest way to do it. But let's see. Uh, ooh, Japan. Rome is in. Uh, no, yeah. So. Just. <laughs> yeah, Italy is the. Okay, all right. We're going to Tokyo. Hostess. Otes? Ooh, yes. Unfortunately, a lot of the jobs here are also gendered words, so you will. There would be a version of this, which actually, let me look up right now. I'm gonna look up airplane host. Uh, haute de l'avion, and so. Ooh, hôtesse, uh, with a little. It does have a little uh, circle like the little <coughs> carrot hat on top, but hôtesse d'avion. Okay. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Does everyone feel good? You feel like we're like... Oh, wait. I can't do that. Okay. Wait. Why is it blinking? Oh, it's because I clicked on it. Okay. I was like, it's already telling me. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Freeners, you're totally... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I totally forgot that. This, that's right. They're going to be using flags from 1990. Oh, no. Well, at least they've all been... Co well, have they been correct? Okay. <laughs> Tokyo, avec say, okay, with 8.3 million inhabitants, uh, et la capital et la plus grande ville du Japon is the capital and the largest city of Japan. All right, and it is 5 p.m. on Tuesday. How? Okay, all right, all right. Where are we going? With old cherry blossoms and a train. Port Moresby. Okay, okay. That's not what I meant. Okay, we have the bank, bibliotech, or the bourse. Que es un bourse? Bourse? Stock exchange? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I kind of feel like she's going to, they would be at the bank first. Why does stock, stock exchange sounds like some wild stuff here. <laughs> yes, cassette. Yes! Got the moves. Can I wait? Can I? I can't actually click on and catch him. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. She. Um. This is using past tense. Also, she. Elle a changé son argent en dollars. Uh, she has changed her money into dollars. <laughs> wait. Uh. Pop. 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 Guardian. Another guardian with, which what looks like a tiny Pikachu on him. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. She changed her money into dollars. All right. Uh, I know Sydney. I know Australia has dollars. Kigali, I'm sorry. I will check you out. Capital of Rwanda. Okay. And what kind of money does Rwanda use? Rwanda money. Francs. Oh, God. Okay, yes, because of colonialism. Okay. Paris uses the euro. No, wait. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> Paris uses francs as well because this is in the 90s. This is before the European Union uh, created the euro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
Oh, yep, I got it. I got I got there. <laughs> All right. So we are going to Sydney. Let's just do it. Let's just one clue and we're off. We don't need it. I mean, it also wasn't dollar period, so. But. Finally. At, vun at uh, 10 p.m. Sydney, with its 3.3 million inhabitants, is the largest city of Australia. It represents une cinq oh my god, I can't say this. <laughs> and represents a cinq oh, a fifth, pardon, okay. Um, of its population, of the country's population. Uh, le nu nouvel apparat est son... Mm, oh, I can't. Uh, is the biggest monument? Du, du, du. Is without a doubt. Oh, right. Sans doute. Um, the largest. Okay. <laughs> without a doubt is plus que non. Is the uh, most well-known monument of the city. Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Singapore, Tokyo. Okay, we've got Athens again and Montreal. Which I think they mean in Canada. Yes, okay. Okay, where are we going? Musée Bibliothèque Palace. Okay, they're not going to be where the cops are. Musée, okay. We're going to find them. Whoa! All oh, right, we have to see. Whoa, look how close we are! Look at her! Look at her! Can I screen capture this? Yes. Okay, I got her. I got her. She's mine. <laughs> yeah, my jet lag has its own jet lag now. This is wild. Okay. Attention, uh, le flic. Oh, oh, um, watch the cop. Uh, all over the world. Um said that you would hmm, sorry tous les monde all over the world dit said or everyone says that you have to something a little more mm, tout est, so this is tout est is a self reflexive oh everyone says that you're getting closer okay a little too close okay un peu trop okay okay Freener's coming in right after I figure it all out. Thank you. <laughs> Watch out. I'm like, my mic? Oh, gross. I am. Okay. All right. Wait. Do you have a clue for me? No clue? Great. We're going to the bibliotheque. We're not going to the palace. Palace. <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay. Okay. Voila, le suspect. What's happening? Where are all the other... Okay, this is Interpol. You have... You've gotten Veronica Adavina. Alright, alright. But you... Oh. But how you... Mais comme vous... N'avez pas de mandat. Um, it's pretty strange like that. But y since you didn't have a mandate, oh, we didn't have a warrant. Oh, we could not arrest them. I have to get a warrant? Okay. Okay. So when I think I'm focused, when I, man, I forgot about that. So when I think I'm close, I have to get a warrant first. That's why there's a, we are looking for, uh, okay, this is, uh, on dira que la bon. I love how it doesn't translate it correctly. Uh, we are looking for okay the band Carmen's band. Okay, okay. Do we want? Yeah, are we ready? Of course we're ready. Yeah, let's go. We oui. wait. Okay. Yeah, I'm still yes. I know. I messed up. National treasure was stolen in Moscow. 
Uh, treasure booth identified. It is the keys to the Kremlin. <laughs> uh, cool, cool thing here in France. C L E is key, clé, but so is C L E F. So, but so wait, they just lost their front door house. I mean, the front door. I mean, but they just lost the keys to the front of the, or is it like the keys to the city? Cause like, just change your locks, you know. <laughs> Okay, another female suspect was seen at the... Okay, your mission. Pursue the thief, uh, the, uh, the Moscow thief, until uh, you find the package and arrest them. Really? Okay. Okay, you must do it again. Okay. <laughs> I like how they, like... Was it Mardi? Yeah, it wasn't even... It wasn't even Wednesday. It might have been mercredi, and they were just like, go home. You're done for the week, kid. All right. Good luck, gumshoe. All right. Oh, Freener's here. Thank you. All the criminal names here are puns. Veronica Edavina is a reference to Fren fi French fitness stars Veronique and Davina. Oh, very cool. I wonder, they must be puns then in English, too, so I'm sure it was like... I don't know what it would be. I mean, Veronica Lake is Veronica Lake's name, but I was trying to think, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Cassette, you said you miss these more transparent games. Do you mean like, it's just like, you can see it's like pretty straightforward. I feel like a lot of indie games are like this though. Um, although maybe there's more visual stuff happening, but I, I mean, I love an old like, and DOS looking or like an you know, old computer looking situation. So, okay. Well, here we go. Case number two. Okay. Oh my gosh. This, they, we literally sound like every cop show where it's like, got our first big case, but then we couldn't arrest them on a technicality. Yikes. 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 This is how it happens. Okay. Uh, Moscow has a population of 9 million people um, that makes it the largest city <laughs> you can't like they're using these same facts <laughs> uh the largest city of the soviet union yikes okay well yeah this is again 1990 uh and it is the um actually i don't know what that means here oh it is also um elle également la capitale du pays it's also the capital of the city yep it has monuments that are uh, the most celebrated monuments uh, one of the most celebrated monuments is the Church of the Saint Basile um, near the Red Palace. Okay. All right, let's go look around. Club Sportif. Le Quai. It looks like boats. The docks. The docks. Yes. Or the palace. Okay, no. Uh, we're going to go. Okay, but we do know. So. Okay, so it's basically either a palace or an ambassade. And so if we're at an ambassade, we can probably get a warrant there too. Um, I just don't know how we trigger. Oh, we have to add. Oh, we, that's what the crime button probably is for. Okay. All right. Well, let's start obviously at the docks. Again, that does not mean like all people in fishing are criminals, but it's the movement of goods. I will lose Shannon. She left on a... She left on an outbound boat with a flag that is green and white. She <laughs> loves risky sports. Um, elle, uh, she has a, I don't know what, cla claironnier. Mm. Love, uh, love everything I'm saying here. Wrong. She has a clarion? No, that's not right. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh wait, I can leave my screen cap stuff. So we're gonna get you. Okay, now I can go over here. Oh, <laughs> the good people. Okay. Claire Rene. Clarified. L loves. She has she has something that loves risky sports. Maybe it's a. I know Freener, you're about to say it. So. <laughs> oh, she boasted. Oh, she boasted that she loves. Okay. Hmm. 
she was words. Just a random thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, she was on a, she probably like said it as she was jumping onto the boat and it roomed away. Okay. So we're looking for a green and white flag. All right. Get ready to play that. Do we know the country? We do not. Okay. It's not. <laughs> uh, is Cal, is that Cairo? I mean, that's probably part of it is I don't know what half, yep. That's Cairo. Um, don't know what half of these words are uh, in French, so I'm like, uh, is that? Uh <laughs> so I don't know. What Mar so I know Egypt's flag and I know France's flag, which I guess technically does have red and red and white, but it doesn't mention blue. So let's. What is Maroni in uh, French? Maroni. Great. Nothing popped up. Mehron, capital of Kamals, off of Africa's east coast. All right, and what is your flag color? Oh, it looks gorgeous there. Kamals flag. No, it also has green and white. Although it has one flag. Ooh. Ooh, you're right. This is the national flag. Sorry, we're talking about flags uh, before. Um, so Comoros has a green and white flag. The question is when? Uh, 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 1990. 1990. Let's see. Comoros, let's see. Comoros' flag in 1990, because it's still, they ha they preserved a part of it on their new flag, but it's it's green with a white crescent moon and white stars. So, uh, Freeners, mm, no, I don't think that's right. I'm going to look it up. But I don't think Egypt's flag is, yeah, it's red, white, and black. So, uh, 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 okay. The one thing I knew. Okay, let's go there. Let's park. Ooh, the tower. Ooh. Okay, we got these like old, like, uh, beautiful like artworks. Okay, okay. Um, Mahone la capital of um, an Islamic republic that was, ooh, <laughs> um. Under the protection of France? I don't know if that's quite what that... I'm also like, when was this written? <laughs> Previously, oh, a French protect... Okay, a French protectorate. Um, when... Oh, boy. Puisun. I don't know what... Then a... Something happened, and then they got their independence in 1875 again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go see. Nope. Nope. That's the thing. Bonk. Okay, the docks again or the embassy? Oh, I'm guessing the docks again. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Compass de mal. Compars. No? Compatriot of Okay, she left. Uh. Elle est, elle est partie dans un canot portant un drapeau étoile. Okay, so it has a star flag. But what is, th what in the dingle hoppers? A ca oh, a canoe! Canot portant. A canoe bearing um, a starred flag. Étoilé. Uh, Étoilé. Um, it sounds so close to toilet paper to me. Sorry. Okay. Um, with f a star. Well, New York has a ton of stars. New York. <sighs> Hello, my name is Jen, and I don't know anything. Um, <laughs> the U.S. flag has a lot of stars. It still had 50 in 1990. It was like 1993 where Puerto Rico uh, voted on whether or not they would join as a country uh, instead of a, a territory, and I was super hoping that we'd get a new flag, but we did not. Okay, London, no. 
Um, and wait, the Moscow, we just left. But what did the Soviet Republic? Okay, yeah, it has the, okay, that's what I thought. thought. <laughs> the old uh, caught my flag. Okay, so we're going to New York. I mean, yeah, we're going to the United States. Let's go. Oh, no! All right, uh, I just found out if you click on the... <laughs> oh my god, I have to go back. Okay, so I'm just losing some time. So if you click on the city while the map is open, you will... Yeah, you will go to there. Okay. It's okay, we just lost a couple hours. <laughs> I'm just a rookie, everybody! I'm just a gumshoe! <laughs> it's Tuesday at noon. Bum -ba -dum. France's gift to the U.S. For those of you that watched Pierre, as you know, France constructed, paid for, and shipped uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty while America, <laughs> the United States, we paid for the base. <laughs> so we had to make sure we could fit everything. And they reconstructed it in one summer, which is wild. Um, yeah, and the... Uh, architect who worked on the internal structure that support it was the same uh, person who made the Eiffel Tower and he did it well in Bordeaux. So there is actually a small Statue of Liberty not very far uh, from where I am at Place Picard, which looks like Picard from Star Trek. So anyway rambling. Okay. New York is the I don't know if it's the largest but is a large <laughs> city in the United States of America. Uh, it is one of the most important cities in America questionable uh, <laughs> it is the center of commerce finance and the arts yes absolutely agreed on those on that last bit okay it could have been the largest at the time okay now now i'm like okay in usa 19 i'm gonna say 89 because maybe you're right it was oh my gosh new york city had over okay i was like is that one of their it had 1990 had almost seven and a half million people in it um and then the next city was los angeles at three and a half million that's wild okay when did <laughs> okay annie are you just turning this into a let me google that for you <laughs> when did la overtake new york city in population okay <laughs> Did L.A. over take? I like that Chicago came up first to me. Um, in population. Well, the state of California surpassed New York in population in 1962. Okay, it's not popping up for me really fast, so I will move. No, nope, year 2000. Okay, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Is that, you know what? I <laughs> Robin, how dare you? <laughs> is that just Manhattan? Is it all five bureaus? Okay, I'm going to go back. <laughs> um, it says New York. It says New York, comma, New York. It doesn't even say New York City. So what does that mean? Oh, it does say New York City. Um, I'm on the nationalpopularvote.com, which doesn't seem like a legit... I mean, it seems like an okay site, but okay, it's telling me, okay. All right. <laughs> I have to find this cop. Or I have to, oh, thank goodness. I was afraid that the, the um, <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> D20 games, fact checking, uh, let's see, 33 year old games. I don't know about that. Okay. We got to get, we got to catch this other woman. Um. I love that there's like all these sexy, no, I'm just, I'm just teasing you. It's just funny because I'm like, I got to know. And I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, all these sexy thieves of Carmen. Okay. Oslo. Okay. Montreal. Mahoney. Okay. We're not, we just going to Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bank. Airport. Okay. Since I dilly dallied and got here, I think it's cool if I go to the burst, which I, guess what? I already forgot what it is. Stock exchange. Okay. It's probably fine if I go to the airport because n there's no way I can catch them that quickly. 
after I dilly dallied. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, thank god. Okay, okay. Voila! Okay. Okay. She took a plane decorated with a a flag bearing a blue cross. Un blue croix. Elle a pris un avion en nez d'un drapeau portant une croix bleue. Pardon, three news. Okay. Um, Istanbul. Oh my gosh, I should really know what Turkey's flag looks like. <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. Sorry. I had the Turkish floor for two years <laughs> uh, when I was a, a resident assistant. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Norway. Yeah. Oh my god. Norway flag. Yep. Okay. I just had to look it up. Okay. Yes, because obviously Montreal can't. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Woof. Okay. All right. So here's the question Do I get the warrant now? No, I'll get it after I arrive there. Because won't it matter what country I'm in? But no, I'm working for Interpol. Okay. Is this, do I take notes here? Wait, what? I'm not even doing, oh, okay, feminine. What is this? Okay, okay, this is where we put in information about her, but sign, tattoo, jewelry. Okay, yeah, all we know is that she's a woman we don't know if she <laughs> has petonk as a hobby. Um, that's the, I forgot the name for it in English, but it's the one with the, you just throw heavy balls and a bunch of other heavy balls. Um, okay. Okay, cool. So this is where we put in information about her. Oh, and then it'll let us know which person we think we're getting. Oh my gosh, that's the other reason you need to visit all these other places is so you can get a warrant for the right person. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry. All right. Well, we gotta, let's go to another place then. Uh, let's go to stock exchange. Yeah. <laughs> Parachutism will be her hobby. Yeah. Female in extreme sports. Did was extreme sports this one? Yes, because it was at the docks. You're right. So, um, she said that she bought. Um. Oh. Oh. Jewelry. Jewelry. Okay. Wait, bijou is jewelry um, that looked very, she was wearing uh, the the jewelry in her portrait. Looked like le de voila, it looked like it was very expensive. Um, she said that she bought something in the paper. Sorry, I'm just gonna look. Like a, like a newspaper. A paper making factory. Okay. A manufacturing. That's what I thought, but you know, sometimes phrases mean like a newspaper. Um, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yep. All right. So we got jewelry. And uh, it says vehicle, but okay. We haven't, we've only heard boats really. Okay. Tennis? No. Music? No. Alpines are extreme. But I guess parachutes would be more. Okay. Chevaux? Nope. We don't know what color her hair is. She is into... What does Vlot mean here? Like, hold on. Vlot means so many things. Oh, dance clubs. Maybe? No. Okay. Tattoo? No. Bijou. Okay. I wonder if we can find out who it is. No, There's no way. The results, <laughs> the information uh, provided, four innocent suspects, uh, four news, okay, 
Um, so do not, okay, do not stop. Okay, we need more information. Okay. <laughs> do you want a dot matrix printer now? Yeah, yeah, we all do. I also want one that when I give it something, every time I hit enter, no, I'm kidding. Okay, all right. So we know where we're going. We've got a little more information. Let's go catch, well, let's go to the next place and get, oh gosh, let's get one more. Nope, nope, yeah. We get info about this. All right, Monday morning, mercredi, which is also the name, sorry, Monday morning, Wednesday morning, which was also the name of the Wednesday Adams TV show. I don't know why they didn't translate Wednesday. It's her name, <laughs> but I guess they want that same feeling. Okay, the Norwegians, uh, or Norway, sorry, <laughs> the Norvège, it's une pay, uh, something about the, uh, the mountains being very com what's a monte comparatively is a mountainous region uh, let's see uh, whoa what is <laughs> une paix montagneux mountains a mountainous country. Okay. Oh. Um, she was, or the country, again, it's the law, so the country is she versus he, borders a, a zone exploratory? No. Uh, that deoccupied, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Just a lot of words I don't know. And you notice I didn't, I'm not writing any of them down. Ooh. That's okay. I will grab them later when I uh, narrow coastlines okay she has a board with narrow coastlines qui est découpé which are cut in a succession of fjords okay in a line of fjords okay things we knew but okay club sportif bibliothèque both okay I think in this case we go to club sportif because she likes extreme sports she does like jewelry it's also strange mm, well let's go here Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to find out one more thing about her and then get the warrant, I feel like. Okay, she... <laughs> Hold on. Look at this guy. Or look at this person. Sorry, I don't know. Look at that. Let me take a screenshot of that tie. Okay. Something about seafood. Seafood. Okay. L. This is like me f failing this game. Comte, affronte. She plans to face a cobra with her something hands. Mm -hmm. mm. Cobra. Um, okay, so that must be what city we're going to. She was planning to fight. A bear, a cobra barehanded. Or as the translator said, she was planning to fight a barehanded cobra. But I. <laughs> um, she regretted uh, not having uh, seafood. Elle regrette came that we did not have. Uh, um, she regretted that we only ate seafood. Okay. What does that have to do with the price of beans? Is someone in here like... Nope, this is hair. Vehicle, parachutism. She was upset that we only had seafood. Okay, well that didn't... Doesn't help us. Okay. Okay, okay. We gotta go somewhere else. Oh, also, what are the cities? Let's look at that real quick. Oh, okay. Can't do. Okay. Uh, we're going to the library because I feel like they're not gonna be there. We're safe there. The library is always a safe place. Okay, she was reading a book about the forest day. Mm, mm. Ooh, she has brown hair. Elle vend les chevaux bruns. Um, forest de tech? Teak, teak. 
teakwood. Teakwood forests. Okay. New Delhi. It's got to be... No, I don't know. Teakwood forests. <laughs> Dang. Teakwood forests. Are there? Yes. Let's look up New Delhi. We're not going back to New York. I know that. New Delhi. Okay. There oh, okay. There is a ton of teak wood in New Delhi. Okay, okay. So it's probably that. But let's see if we can put in this brown hair. I wonder if you leave need all five to get them. Okay, we need all of them. Okay, okay. All right, so we go to the next place. Oh wait, can we, we can try one more. We can try one more place and see if they have more information. Let's go, let's go to the books. The king of peppers? Sorry, oh. This messenger also, what an amazing face. Aim jacket. It looks. It, they made it look like it's got. Uh, it's got these like dots. I think the quality can come through on the screen, but it makes it look like glitter almost because it's like faded at the bottom. So someone was doing. Someone was living their best life making these the the bit art for this game. She said that she. Kel. The new, the king. Oh my God! King of vegetables. Yeah, she pretended to become the the ki the pepper king. Okay, that's what I thought. King of peppers. Okay, that must be a New Delhi thing, I guess. All right. Um. <coughs> okay. So we learned. It just helped us with that. Okay, okay. It's fine. Just Indian food, pepper, certain foods. Okay. New Delhi, Judy, Thursday. Here we are. Okay, we. Okay, um, there are six distinct languages spoken in India. Uh, while Hindi and English are the official language. All right. Very pretty. Okay, what do we got here? Bank, bibliotech, book. Okay, well we go. Let's go get more information about her. I feel like that's what the. Yep. <laughs> I did not. Oh no! Uh, I did not see that kind of person. Uh, je ne pense pas avoir. I don't think. I don't think. I think. I don't think. That I saw this person at the bibliotheque. Oh no! Did we finally go to the wrong place? And without that flag. No! Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, things we have to go back. Okay. <laughs> we have until Sunday. Which we're swiftly approaching. Okay. So we're going back. Oh no! <laughs> it's Friday morning! Okay, situated in the peninsula, of uh, the Malaysian Peninsula, Thailand is the only country of Southeast Asia where you will never. that never experienced the power, the European power. Uh, that was never. oh god, that was never um, dominated or. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. I wish there were more. Okay. Um. Okay, musée, le quai, marché. Oh, we got a marché. Let's go. Let's go to the, the market. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Seems we're getting close. Watch out, cop. Everyone says you're getting too close. Merchant, marchand. Oh, my God, this outfit. 
does that say? It says three fank, three fank, three flunk, 50 on his hat. What is this French guy doing in the... Uh, <laughs> okay. Can I just take a look? A look? Okay, cool. That's for me. All right. Hide that. There we go. I need that arrest warrant for sure. Yeah. Yeah, dominated by European p power is w quite the way... Sounds about white, if you will. Quite the way to say colonized, taken advantage of, all that stuff. Okay, but we don't know who it is yet. So is this where we just take a guess? Decapita. Okay, I don't know what that is. I gotta look that up. Is that a convertible? Convertible. Oh, it is. Okay, it just sounds like it's decapitated, though. Limousine. Sport car. Motorcycle. All I've heard is that she got on a boat. Which means I missed something somewhere. Obviously. Well, I, I mean, we didn't check everywhere. I was, like, zooming around. Okay. Let's... Oh, man. Okay. What do you think we should do, chat? Should we make up the vehicle so we can get a warrant? This is really how... <laughs> feels very bad. <laughs> so, do we get a warrant hoping we're right? Or do we go... You can look at the oh you can look at the registries of Dossier. Oh you're right. That's right. All their names are up here. Carmen San Diego. Agatha Woman? What a name. Um okay. Oh, okay, not that person. Of course this person likes to talk. Okay, let's look up Sophie. Nope. We need brown hair. Nope. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Edward, nope. Remy, maybe not. Anna. Alpinist. Hmm. And tattoo. Okay, so it's not that person. Oh, is it Carmen San Diego? She has her jewelry though. Oh my gosh. Annalise, Annalise didn't have jewelry. I mean, I don't, this is wrong. Hold on, let me look up. Since we no, okay, no, it's got to be Veronique again. Alpinism, brown hair, bijou. Alpinism is also extreme. So, and we don't know what the car is. It's her. <laughs> also, look at this photo <laughs> she's like i love tennis and jewelry even though she wasn't one of the people who said she loved tennis and uh that terrible jägermeister or something like <laughs> yeah i think it's veronique again all right limousine let's get her wait what oh right, right sorry 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 i have to change this to alpinism Oh, it won't let me. There we go. Okay. All right. Right. Uh, men mandat de ret de livrer contre Veronique et Devana. All right. Let's get Veronique. I, w I wonder if one of those dan those people you're talking about, Freeners, uh, had a, uh, you know, a uh, tennis racket. Okay, look okay, it is. Oh! Uh, everyone is saying. Uh, oh God, hold on. Tu que tu sais que je sais. Um, everything that I know. I feel like all I know. Tu sais, tu sais que je sais. <laughs> tu sais que je sais. Tu sais que je sais. Tu sais que okay, I gotta say this at work. Okay. It uh, is that they passed something. Kelka shows us something. And then I don't know what Loche is. Uh. Uh, is something is happening close to the louche. 
Okay. Lausch could mean ladle, spoon, or dipper. So, oh, something is weird happening in town. What does... Oh, louche means weird. Okay, something weird. De louche. Okay. Whew. Okay. All right. Next place. Mise, we're about to catch you. Here it goes. Here it goes. Ah, oh, louche is slang. Merci, merci. Voilà le suspect. Veronique. Oh, sorry. I should have said something. We got him. Okay, put. Jeez. You should put the fire arm down. Love that cheap animation. Hat all the way down. Back it up. We got one. Okay. We're gonna, okay. How long is this? Thanks to your help, the Bangkok police have uh, intervened. Uh, Veronique Edevana Interpelle Contacted? Hmm. Uh, papa uh, She was in the possession. She had in her possession the keys to the Kremlin. Uh, Louboutin? Louboutin? The king? No, back to the translator. <laughs> Louboutin? The booty? Was recovered, returned uh, to this. <laughs> the booty will be handed to the citizens. Uh, to the grateful citizens of Moscow. Wow, wow, wow. La Bouton. Booty. I should really know this because my video game company is called Studio Black Flag. Reconnais. Okay, and then, oh, what did that guy say earlier? Two. Tu sais, tu sais que je sais. All I know. Okay, I'm gonna be super annoying about that. I guess tomorrow. <laughs> tu sais que je sais. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, 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 Interpol received a. Uh, thanks you for the qu the quality of your work uh, on this investigation. Oof. Good job. Bon jouet, Jen. Oh, I have a promotion. Inspector. All right. What? Yes, we are ready. Is everyone good? We good? Do we need another? Hold on. Get more of my heat. All right. Are we ready for our third case? I wonder, do you have to? I wonder if you have to catch everyone before you get Carmen San Diego, which we will unfortunately not be able to do because, guess what? You can't do. Enregistre. You cannot save this game. So you know what that means, I guess, is next week if I still don't have it. <laughs> no, I probably won't. Like speed run all the way before the show. <laughs> hey, thank you, John. <laughs> Good to see you. You do need to catch everyone, yeah. That's what I figured. Okay. Well, maybe I can find another Carmen San Diego game too. Although I went through a lot of them. I didn't. I didn't try any after 2010, to be fair, because this art, obviously. Back on Monday. Inspector Jen. It was a toy of the Malaysian Emperor, Joya. Uh, I thought it was Jue. Jewel. Jewel. Pardon. How do you say that? Joyu. 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 Um, il s'agit d'un joyu. I'm sure that out. De temps de l'empête du Mali. Joyu. Joyu for bijou. A jewel for jewelry. Uh, I should also always write down the article because art nouns never go naked. In French, uh, le joyeux. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Leave the game running for a week? I don't know about that. Like.
I mean, you're not wrong, Andy. All right. Another feminine suspect. That's the only kind I like. Was seen uh, near the... Okay, your mission is to the thief of Bamako until you find the package. We always have the same deadline. I thought maybe they would, like, make it shorter since we are an inspector. Bon chance, Inspector Jim. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Jusqu'à... Uh... uh Oh my god, don't know what that is. Until the 15th, and then a word I do not know, uh, a century? Oh, it helps if you put the, that's the word. Yes, century. Whoa, okay. Jusqu'à, okay. Siècle. Siècle. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, Killing Eve. What a show. Okay. Unfortunately, there are some males. Okay. Okay. Until the 15th century. Jusqu'à consommation. Oh, that is really rough to say. I'm going to say it wrong constantly. And then they'll be like, quoi? Uh, la Mali faisant partie d'un grand empire. The uh, Mali was a great empire. Uh, then the ancient village of. Or Timbuktu, Timbuktu uh, was the center uh, of the Islamic Tube, I feel like whatever I'm remembering. Oh, studies. Okay, yeah, the center of Islamic Islamic studies. Okay, dope. Okay, so the places we could be going to are Reykjavik, uh, Lekea, Cairo, Kathmandu, Singapore. Okay. All right. Club Sportif, Port Ambassade. Okay, well, we're gonna go to the port first, clearly. But we will learn something in all of these places. Elle est partie dans un yacht. Oh no, I act like that's the thing. We don't, none of them. Une drapeau rouge et blanc. Okay. A red. Uh, where am I? A red and white. Flag. Well, it has red and white in it, but okay. Um, all right. Thank you. Merci, uh, Monsieur Marin. Thank you, Mr. Seaman. Not fisherman. Nope. Okay. Cairo, Egypt, Kathmandu, all oh, Singapore. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Singapore flag is just red and white, but we're gonna find out one more thing, because. We need that information on her. Okay, let's go to Club Sportif. Maybe we'll learn what she likes to do, tennis or whatnot. She asked for, which I love that demand is the word for ask, basically. Elle est demande, c'est le temps dangereux. Something dangerous for poisonous fish, Venemo, venomous fish, poisson, des poissons venomous. Venemu. Poisonous fish. Okay. Uh, Dol de Neter. Or Diary Tooth. Ordinarily, she drives a convertible. Bum, bum, bum. Convertible. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let us. And then, I'm trying to remember. The third place at the other one, did it actually give us a clue about her? Or was it? I don't think it did. So, yeah, we'll just... Take them over to Singapore. You know she's a lady. We know she's got a convertible. So that's two out of the five. Singapore it is has a strong Chinese, has a strong influence of Chinese culture. A fortement influence influence by the culture Chinois. Les trois quarts, uh, three quarters, <laughs> of its inhabitants are only f in are in fact ch Chinese. On est fond chinois. Uh, or in fact, wait, okay. And then trois quarts, um, I think that's three quarters. <sighs> my computer's like, Tory quarts? No, my friends. Yep, three quarters. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Beautiful. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Hotel. 
Erobot Bills. The hotel, right? We'll get some good information about her there. The airport is where we'll find out stuff about yeah, where she's going next, though. So. Bum bum. <laughs> Show me your moves, gotta make it land. Okay, <laughs> I like that, like, the people doing all the... Okay, you are surely on the right path. Le bon piste. Le bon... Well, chemin is path. The right track. Oh, the right track. Piste. Track. I prefer chemin, but okay. Piste. Track. Okay. Elle est demandée le cœur du sol. She asked for a class of soul of the sun. I don't of the soil. Okay. Uh oh, she ordered a Mex a plate of Mexican food or a Mexican meal. Where are we going? Whoa. <laughs> I have a feeling because this was made in the 90s that they think Lima, Peru has Mexican food. Yikes. 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 I think that's probably it, but we will find out one more. I am sorry. Ah, uh, the exchange rate of solar currency. Okay. Well, that would... Um, Oh, currency Peru, nineteen ninety. Yep, the soul was the currency of Peru between eighteen sixty three and nineteen eighty five. Dang. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, we obviously know that their food is not Mexican, but it is Peruvian. But because of, sorry, the light behind me is shining in such a way. Um, there, uh, Peru actually uh, had multiple, um, speaking of Singapore, and the three uh, uh de la population uh, des Chinois. Um, because uh, they actually had, Peru had many uh, um, immigration waves. Um, one, they had a big one from China, actually. So there's a lot of Peruvian Chinois food. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that in French. Peruvian Chinese food. And then there was also another uh, one that was like in the 30s uh, to the 50s. And then there also was, I'm probably wrong about those dates though. And then there's also one from uh, uh, Western and Southern Africa. So there's a lot of delicious uh, Peruvian African. In fact, the uh, Peruvian African food is some of their, uh, their national dishes actually. So it's like usually peppers, chicken, uh, and rice. Uh, but the food there sorry that's what <laughs> i've been to peru and so i studied a lot about it so um because i like knitting too and so i went to go you know touch some llamas like a creeper um but yeah it's not mexican food <laughs> so we know that okay but we need to know something else let's find out airport we'll find out something else about her that told us where we needed to go we need to find out something about her Peru also has like a million types of potatoes that taste amazing because Monsanto did not touch their old food. Yeah. Oh my God. The peppers. I mean the, the potatoes there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She took a plane that had a, oh no, we know a flag that was red and, oh, red and white. Uh, yep, that is flag, their flag. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, but we need to know more about her. Now I gotta go to the stock exchange. It's Tuesday at noon. Okay, she was interested a lot in sardines. No, it just told us the same thing! She usually is in a, a, a very cute convertible. Get out of here! Give me the same information. All right, let's get to Lima. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. I mean, I'm not mad. I'm just. <laughs> also, Lima is not right next to Machu Picchu, but okay, okay. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Peru. 
Le Peru is situated on the Pacific coast of Southern America and its cousin at the equator, uh, it's, uh, Ecuador, Ecuador, uh, Colombia, Brazil, Bolivia, and Chile. Again, this is nothing about them. It's just geography. Uh, and uh, Iguan, let's see. In big, like, Amazon, blah, blah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's sardine trading. Uh, oh, and it's twice as big. Wait, as big as, it's twice as big as France, okay. <laughs> Again, not a lot about Peru itself. I told you more about Peru, but as they say, Travel is the greatest education. So, whoever they are, probably big travel. But okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see where we're going to visit. Musée Bibliothèque Post. Well, Musée. Let's see, let's see what's happening there. Please give us some good information about her. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> we're on the right track. I mean, we always know because they. Okay. She benefited uh, at the stock exchange studying new type of cholesterol. Wait, what? No, wait, the stage of cholesterol. Oh, man. Please don't be racist. Please don't be racist again. Oh, I see. It's because I'm. She benefited. Uh, she was awarded a scholarship to study um, the stage, and then it was cholesterol of cowboys? Cowboy cholesterol? The gauchos? Uh, oh wait, or gauchos of... The, level, the levels. Oh, the levels, yeah. A tap. Oh no, I was thinking of a tap. Uh, the st levels, niveau... Okay. <coughs> All right. Well, let's go over to another place. Um, let's see. Bibliotech. Sorry, I'm like thinking that. Okay. Couches. Oh, wait. Where are our places also? Buenos Aires. Okay. That might be the gauchos. Um, Londres. Mm, Bangkok, Singapore. I think it might be Buenos Aires because of the gauchos. Okay. Uh, Bibliotech. Yeah. I, I can't. I was about to. She searched for a guide to restaurants. Ah, uh, uh, of the Firelands. <laughs> uh, ooh, she had la bag. Nice. A ring. All right. So she's into she's into jewelry too. Tier de feu. The land of fire. Okay. What is that? Uh, okay. Land of fire. Land of fire. Unless there's like... Is Buenos Aires known as the land of fire? Land of good air. Okay. Uh, I'm also thinking of uh, the ring of fire. Okay, now it's just, oh man, okay. Ah, uh, Tierra del Fuego, oh, of course, okay, sorry. Tierra del Fuego does, does not make, oh, also thank you, free news. Man, uh, the sad part about looking this uh, information up in real time is that uh, there's a lot, uh, most of Buenos Aires is on fire, or a lot of it is because of wildfires. Yikes, and they're, I'm sorry, or there were a lot of wildfires and they're gearing up for this year. Yikes, 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 okay. Okay, well, let's see. We've got a female. It's one of these hobbies, trading fish. What is natation? Swimming! That could be it. I'm gonna... It's not the... Oh, wait. Why is the... <laughs> Chavon, no seen. She had a bag, oops, a ring, and she had a... Convertible. Yeah, swimming. <laughs> I got it. I figured it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's 
the b- <laughs> it's the benefit of having the small bit of lag <laughs> between you and chat. I can like ma- my brain can almost get there in time. Okay, to the boards, to the stock exchange. Oh no, we know where we're going. Yikes! They're not gonna give me inf- any information. She wanted to t- eat tobacco. She wanted tobacco. Serve that cow on the left. Oh, she wanted to. Mm, oh no. She wanted to bat mm, tobac tobacco on cattle. She wanted to trade tobacco on cattle. Qu'elle allait faire une. She's going to make a killing on cattle. She's going to make a killing on cattle. Okay. I guess cattle and Buenos Aires are. Yeah. Yep, that's not hair color. (laughs) To Buenos Aires we go! (laughs) Okay. Yeah, that's right. Because two. Okay. Oh, dang it. All right. Lima. Bonjour. Yeah, the gauchos. Yeah. Argentina is the second largest country in South America after Brazil. Derrière la Brésil. Sa géographie est variée. Uh, its geography is varied. Um, with tropical, uh, trop- there are tropical forests in the north and Tierra del Fuego in the south. Arid and cold. I think that's what Alhid means. It does dry and cold. Okay. Sweet. And they have the gauchos. Obviously, they're wearing gaucho pants. Hello. Okay. Took me a minute. Hotel Europa Palace. Vale. Okay. We're going to go to Hotel. No. Let's do the first. Europa. Aha! <laughs> we got good hat. We got good shirt. Um, uh, she wanted to pay a visit, or she wanted to go to the <laughs> a country that's close, the cousin of Austria, Los Tres. So Germany, yeah, Austria. Okay, thank you, B- Baga East, which is what kind of just baggage handler, Baja East. How do we say that? Bagagiste. Okay. Uh, oh, Budapest. Okay. Most likely. All right. I mean, it is. <laughs> that is correct, but... Okay. L'hotel. Okay. What? She... Oh, my God. <laughs> She was leafing through. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Fuil. F- she was leafing. Sorry. So fuil, uh, it's used for a lot of things here. Um, obviously, um, uh, oh, there's the dessert that I'm now forgetting the name of. Fuil. Uh, dang it. It's always on Greenwich Bake Off. But it's used for spreadsheets. It's used for new shoots on leaves. Page of books. So I was like, what is this? It's clearly a dictionary, but <laughs> okay. I'm going to write that one down. It's another. Milfoy, thank you. <laughs> That's the dessert. Okay. Um, I got to use leafing through, like, casually in the middle of my terrible sentences. Okay. If anyone's wondering what I do after these, it's usually practice the words with my coworkers who laugh at me, um, but who are very nice. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So here, so it, it says, saying she's that she... Sorry, I'm putting it there. She's leaping through a dictionary of hungry. But then it's like the second one is like trying to confuse us. Like trying like throwing that in as like extra information. Unless let's go to these dossiers. Maybe we can find someone that likes Mexican food and then we put in the other last bit of info about that. Nope, because she, this person did not want that. Did not want all the. We're looking for somebody who has a convertible and a ring. Oops. What?
what was happening with Howard? I mean, yeah, car of course Carbon likes. <laughs> it's not her though, right? We can catch all of them first. She does have a ring. And a. And a convertible. Is this. Is this her already? Okay, hold on. Remy is. I wish it was a woman. Did I look at her? Which, what is happening here? Okay. Um, did I look at? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh. He's the petanque lover with the very French hat. Um, on Elise. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's. It's her. <laughs> okay. Let's put in that tennis. Uh, I mean, brown. It's brown red, though. What kind of. Brun rouge. How brun rouge? How am I? I guess I'll put in brun and see what it does. What else? It said tennis, so not. Oh well. All right. Okay, I'll put in her red hair. gonna change everything incorrectly ring red hair tennis okay analyze it's Carmen San Diego Wait, what okay it says coupe not Oh no. Oh no, now we get the warrant for the wrong person or can we oh we can just order multiple warrants. So you can't I'm so confused about this now. <laughs> you can't you can't put in the information for Carmen San Diego and get Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Okay. I gotta move. It's Thursday. Okay. Well, we're going to Budapest. <sighs> All right. Well, I sadly. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like this one's gonna get away. We're gonna be one for two, one for three. Budapest, l the capital of Hungary. Uh, correspondent. I see. Is the result of an age, well, of two distinct villages, Buda and Pest, separated by the Danube River. But what does corresponda? Correspondent. Match. Match. Okay, yeah. Okay. Matches the names. Gorgeous looking. Okay, where are we looking at? Mexico. Oh, is she going to end up in Mexico? Probably because she loves Mexican food. Buenos Aires. Kigali. Again. Which was the capital of Rwanda. Boom. Now I know it. Thank you, game. New Delhi. Okay. Oh my gosh, but we oh We also now have a warrant for someone I think her sign's not the ring. Uh uh She's never seen without her ruby. Some Koye? Oh, it's, oh, it's, um, I'm sorry. It's, uh, Bijou. Probably. But we did, they did say. Oh, I'm sorry. That's almost going in. The door is locked, obviously. Um, they did say it was a ring. But let's just do it. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I mean, jewelry ring. All right. <laughs> I'm all like, I'm going to blame chat when this is wrong. No, they've been giving us, we don't know her hair color. They gave us convertible and ring. That's literally all we know. Oh, and female. We know that. So we don't have hair color. We don't have the hobby, but they keep saying loves Mexican food. So <laughs> Andy, I would never blame chat. I would never. Okay, let's go to the sports club. No, let's go to the library. She's not gonna be. Nobody's gonna be in the library, and we can know. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> okay, at least it's this. Okay. All right. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. She wanted to borrow books about the Sikh philosophy. Okay. We're going somewhere. A lot of Sikhs. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you, Monsieur Alchemist. Oh, dang it. Okay. Let's go to the embassy. See what we can learn. And Dadi. Ooh, ooh, it's getting late. Uh, she said that she appreciated playing with checkers. You know where we learn checkers? Pierre. Oh, a check. Is this the first black person we've seen in this game? That can't be right. No, I don't think so. But, um, she said that she appreciated playing checkers with the prime minister. What? Uh, the premier minister. Actually, I don't know if that's premier. Okay, so I guess... That's who was in charge in the 90s in this country. Prime Minister. Okay, yeah, yeah. Paul Mellon. Okay, let me go look up. Okay. Let's see if New Delhi had a Prime Minister then. <laughs> prime Minister. 1990s? Yes, they had a yes. Re okay, Sri Pamela Parthi Venkata Narasimha Rao was the prime minister from. Okay, <laughs> or actually that was nineteen ninety one. Sorry, but okay. Oh, check chess. Sorry, one of those two games. Same board. No, okay. Okay, so we're going to New Delhi. But I need one more piece of information about her. So let's go to the sports club. Because I re okay. She had a big ring on her finger. Elle avait une grosse bague à doigt. Oh, it's the. Okay, she said that she wanted a photographer photograph yaks in their natural environments. Elle a dit qu'elle voulait. She would like to. Photographer des yaks dans leur environnement naturel. Tennis man also. <laughs> He's like got like tiny pink cheeks okay she was wearing a big ring dang it this is not enough information uh, uh, uh. i'm gonna take it back no we thought it was swimming because she kept talking about fish wait she was saying she doesn't like fish though i guess that would would help us with with the food because Anne likes fish. Fruit de la mer, la santé, health, aerobics. And then Agatha. It didn't translate. <laughs> We're out of luck here. Um, Polte un what? Polte un. What is. I actually don't know what that is. A scar! Ah, <laughs> amazing. Okay. Um. Oh, port. So it probably says that she's wearing something. So she could be. It actually could be her wearing a ring. Um. Except. Oh my gosh! Click. Okay. Except that. Did she have? Um, it's not a coupe though. It's not a convertible. Ah! Maybe that's where's the bonnet, bonnet. All right. I mean, are, sorry. Are we looking at the picture of Agatha? Or, or screeners? Did you look it up <laughs> outside on the internet, and so now you know what the correct thing is? Um. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to. I already forgot. A uh, New Delhi. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Anita woman. Okay, so we are back to New Delhi. Six of uh, six official. S oh my gosh, says long distinct six uh, languages and two official languages. Okay. Oh my god. It's Friday though. Should I? I gotta change it back because it's not. I guess I gotta go with Agatha because it's definitely red hair though. Red and tenor. Because it's not Carmen San Diego. We know it's not her. It's never her until you catch everyone else. Oh, wait. I need to that to the oh no. Okay, so I guess her car is also a convertible. Okay, that works. Okay. Okay, sports club. Mm, let's go to the library and see if we can learn one more thing about her that's going to confirm this warrant. Cause oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we said that the gang. It said that the it said undi, uh, or casual we, undi that the gang hid something in, uh, in the village. C'est caché quelque part en vie. Cool. Oop. <laughs> So Jen scurries off. Well, we're not going to go to the sports club right away. <laughs> oh, no, this is it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Did we get it? Did we get a game? Okay. Content warning. Gunshots. Sorry. There's no we did it. Get the woman! Terrible name. We did that on two... Two clues. <laughs> Thanks to your help, the po New Delhi police intercepted Agatha woman. <laughs> Possession of the jewel and the, Mal the Malaysian Empire. The booty what am I thinking of this? was uh, returned to the grateful citizens of Bobby. <laughs> Interpol would like to thank you for your great help on this case. Oh, did we get another promotion? Oh no. Wait. Oh, oh. After in three more cases you will get it. you will get another promotion sorry oh my goodness wow <laughs> carbon san diego we're gonna get you i can feel it okay um thank you all so much for tuning into this one as you can see from my list and also from watching this my french was not 100 percented with pierre unfortunately despite me trying um I do think this weekend I uh, will uh, probably be um, doing a speed run of uh, Pierre. I, kn I was thinking about it last weekend, but then I went to Arkashan. But this weekend I'm here. Uh, so probably on Sunday, I'm looking at the times, um, or maybe uh, late, late Saturday, or sorry, your midday Saturday. But um, I will put it obviously on the Dames social media and in our discord so if you're not following us at d20 dames uh, it says it right above me we're at d20 dames on twitter and instagram and blue sky now we're on there as well so um or we will be in like 10 minutes once i <laughs> once i send the reminder so uh yes thank you so much for tuning in um I will continue to play French games in French with your help, obviously. <laughs> uh, there's always somebody, whether it's a uh, Frienders, um, uh, 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 sorry, I'm like, forget, uh, Marie Paul or uh, Diane Dion, <laughs> who shows up and is like laughing at me. So, but thank you again. I appreciate it. All the help and the fun. Um, yeah. And otherwise, uh, oh, uh, first Fiasco First Friday is this Friday on uh, Roll20 app. Uh, we'll be on at 5 p.m. Pacific. And we've got some great guests. Josh Boykin, a.k.a. Wallstormer of Intelligames, who we'll probably zoom over to after this because he's streaming right now, uh, will be on it, as will Porna M. 
who is a TTRPG designer uh, and won the prize gift because someone got sick. Um, but me, obviously. Uh, and yeah, we'll be playing more Fiasco. So yeah, I hope to see you there. And thank you again so much. This was wonderful. You're all wonderful. And uh, yep, learned a lot of good words like le bouton, the booty. And now you have two. All right, bisou. <laughs> A demain. A plus. If I, I can get out of here. <laughs> I don't know why I acted like... Oh, there we go. Nope. I'm... Screen cap. Now I'm out. Alright. Now bye. Why would Malcolm know? That seems a little too pointed. A little too pointed for casual conversation. <laughs>